I've always noticed in my life that my heart had a big shield around it. Um, when I first went to Thailand uh, years ago, back in 2010. Yes, yes. Hey, superstar, Gavin is here. This video is gonna be about the heart chakra, heart chakra ascension energies. We're going to be dealing with the energies of the heart, 5D, we're operating from the love right now. And so I'm going to be doing some light language as well, providing and giving you a very, very powerful healing on the heart chakra. I've always noticed in my life that my heart had a big shield around it um, when I first went to Thailand uh, years ago, back in 2010. Actually, no, in 2010, I went to Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within seminar and I had a lot of uh, blocks around my heart. Like I, I couldn't feel emotion. I felt emotionally numb. And um, I grew up in a really rough neighborhood. So I guess, you know, you got to develop kind of a shield anyway. And then in 2011, I actually went to Thailand and I got my first ever Reiki session done. And the Reiki practitioner had said that I had a big shield around my heart. And he, he worked on releasing it and he said it's going to take a long time for me to actually release that shield. Um, and I would say the last few years, like I've been opening up my emotions more and feeling more of my emotions, my feelings. And so I've done that through a lot of energy healing. And so what I want to do for you in this video is give you some light language to open up your heart more. I want to invite you to realize that your past does not equal the future, meaning that just because in the past you got hurt doesn't mean you're going to get hurt again you have a new level of awareness and you can approach love and this world from a different energy so what i'm saying is some people you know you've been in narcissistic relationships you've been in toxic relationships people have hurt you in the past but realize prior to all of that you was innocent and got hurt okay you was innocent you didn't know you wasn't aware you was at a certain level of consciousness and then you got hurt and now you have become protective and now you're approaching love from pro protectiveness <laughs> right from a place of defense and lack all right but what you want to do is simply have the awareness of these particular situations have the awareness and the education what do you take from these particular situations and now approach love from the new learnings you see how that works you approach love from a different level of consciousness. So right now I'm able to tell if someone's a narcissist like that because I've been in toxic narcissistic relationships, right? Very, very quickly. And so it's not that like I'm defending myself, it's more that I've got certain boundaries now. I know something good when I see it. I know something bad when I see it. And so it's having those boundaries, cultivating your red flags and knowing what's good and what's bad for you and making sure no matter how you feel in the moment you have to override with the logical okay. override the logical no one should be touching you or hitting you or no one should be bullying you using toxic language or anything like that towards you this is unhealthy and is detrimental to your mental emotional and spiritual health and so i'm inviting you to realize that you're going to take these particular experiences from the past and know more of what you do want and you do that by cultivating your own self-esteem your own self-confidence with the solar plex energy if you haven't watched my solar plex video it will be up here somewhere all right click on the card and check that video out so you can develop self-esteem self-confidence i also have a healing that goes along with that and once you develop your confidence, your self-esteem and stuff like this, and you feel totally whole within yourself, now that's when it's time to get into relationships and romance and all of this stuff and, you know, opening your heart more and all of this stuff. But what I'm going to do for you in this video is some light language so that you can clear some of these energies out from the past. And um, I'm also going to do an extended video uh, that will be in the description below this video where I'm going to be actually doing very deep healing. Okay, so the light language is going to be more of like an activation, more of like um, a quick clearing, you know, like sweeping. All right. And if you feel stuff happening as you're watching this, you feel more happy, whatever it is, then I invite you to get the extended version of this video because now we're going to go a lot deeper 
and we're gonna clear some real deep stuff and really clear that stuff out, okay? So I'm just gonna allow, I'm gonna uh, get into meditative position here. I really need to stretch more. <laughs> um, I sit around the computer a lot um, and um, Wake Up Fulfilled has took some hits recently so I haven't been able to exercise as much. But let me connect in with Source. Let me connect in with the Blue Avians. Let me connect in with the Magdalene, Magdalene energy and Judah energy. And all you would need to do is just watch my hands. I do not speak like language. I do sign like language from the Blue Avians. So I just invite you to look at me through your heart space. Love, love, light, light. Love, love, light, light. Love, love, light, light, light. Love. Like love. Love, love. Be love. You are love. Releasing your energies around the heart chakra. I'm inviting you to hold peace within your third eye your throat chakra and your heart chakra. Don't be afraid to speak up and speak to your partner or speak to whoever you need to speak to. Okay, we're gonna be clearing the energy and opening your intuition with the third eye and then allowing that peace to come into your heart. So feel the energy of peace come through you here and now, cleaning out that energy. God is asking me to tell you that you need to let go, let go of the pain, let go of the suffering, let go of the past. Peace, peace, love, love, light, light, let go of it all. Happiness is freedom within, when you have personal freedom. So what we need to do is forgive the past, heal the past so we can create an amazing future. It doesn't matter your age, the time to start is now. So if you're in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, it doesn't matter what age you are, where you're at. I'm too old for this stuff, you know to change now, it's too late. No, don't think like that. Okay. Realize that you are extremely powerful and you are more than your age. Okay, the time is now. Don't feel guilty that you know you only got so many years left and all of this. These are these are these are the, the illusion is the script. It's the illusion of the mind, right? It's what you've been taught. And so in actuality it's counterintuitive but 
you are living your life in fear rather than living your life in love. <laughs> live your life in love. Okay, live your life in love. Sa, sa, sa. Live your life in love, live your life in purity, live your life in happiness. Live your life in a godly way. Live your life in purity, live your life in purity, live your life in purity, love and light. Sa, sa, sa. Removing all Baphomets. <laughs> Clearing the way for love and light. <laughs> right. You are extremely powerful. Choose to believe that. The ego will say, no, that's not true. I'm not powerful. Look at my past. Look at my... Look at my achievement, I haven't achieved anything, or whatever it is, right? That is the ego. Do not listen to the ego. What does your truth say? What does love say? What does God say? Don't listen to your conditioning. Don't listen to your conditioning. Okay. Search for growth, expansion, and enlightenment through abundance, and don't chase it from the ego base because it's what the spiritual community says you should do. No, um, if you're gonna grow, grow because you want to grow for your heart. Grow because you want to learn more about yourself. Grow because you want to feel more powerful within your being more powerful here on earth. I made a video about the root chakra so you can feel more powerful on earth. The link will be up here in the uh, cards. Operate from abundance. Operate from abundance, okay? Is what's coming through. And there's more energies to be cleared for 5D. Transcending the 3D into the 5D Peace, peace. Back to love and light. Peace. Okay. Okay, so if you want to get the rest of this video and we want you want to go deeper into the heart space, deeper into your heart, deep into clearing those energies, purging out the old vomiting and bleh, all of that old crap purging it all out right and also um, getting rid of energies and belief systems that don't do not serve the 5d that do not serve a higher power that are holding you back in terms of getting back into relationships that uh, or, or, or healthy relationships should i say getting into healthy relationships, having healthy boundaries and red flags. Um, we're gonna be doing an extended, extended video for that. So make sure you check that out. The link will be at the top, near the top of the description. And these, these particular, uh, this particular video and audio is gonna really help you make a lot of progress. All right, excuse me.
that's that's a little purge right there for you <laughs> all right so that's about it for this video my friend i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one there'll be some videos coming up on screen right now make sure you click those and watch those speak to you soon keep learning keep growing keep expanding